What do I think are the next steps for BIPLUS visibility? Well, first off, we need more resources. We need more funding so that we can do the educational work required. We need to provide resources directly to BIPLUS people, but we also need to provide resources to the entire world because we're not going to be fully comfortable and safe until the people around us also understand um, what bisexuality means, what it doesn't mean, um, and realize that they know a lot of people who identify as bi plus. Um, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, what I would love to see is more spaces where people can get together, find support, find affirmation. I'd like to see more representation, um, more writing, um, more anthologies, more you know, single author books, um, more fiction, more nonfiction. Um, I would love to see more research done about bisexual identity um, that you know, is done in a way that is culturally competent and smart. Um, I would love to see um, people who are on the ground doing this kind of work, um, and there are a lot of us, I'd like to see us get more attention in the media, um, both in the mainstream media and also in the LGBTQ plus or LGBTQI or LGBTQIA plus whatever um, press. I think that the proportion of attention paid to people who identify as bi plus is woefully small and that needs to change. So I think the next steps for bi representation and bi visibility is the trend that we're seeing and that is an upward trend of better representation, better visibility, more buys in the media, more buys in the press, um, more out proud bisexual people in every walk of life, be it, you know, sports, we've just had the Olympics and the Paralympics and there's been lots of headlines about, you know, it was like the queerest Olympics ever and I think that's awesome. Um, I'd love to see more representation on TV, more storylines centering bi characters, and also letting bi characters be messy, you know? Like, I talk a lot about Rosa Diaz's storyline on um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's a really, really great example of how to do a bi storyline, but it's quite a clean storyline, you know? She already knows she's bi, she gets a girlfriend, she comes out, and even though she faces biphobia, it's kind of... She's a very respectable bi character. I would love to see more bi characters who are confused, who are a bit messy, who are a bit promiscuous, um, and who are allowed to just be real and be authentic and, you know, we, we don't have to be this respectable, put-together version of bisexuality all the time. Um, it's Robin Ox has a great quote, she says, you are not the bi brand. You know, you do not have to represent bisexuality perfectly. And I would love it if we had so much bi-representation that we also had space for the mess and the confusion and, you know, the stuff that makes us human, that makes us real. Um, so I'd love to see more of that. I also think it's really important that we get more diverse bisexual representation. So if we look at the GLADS We Are On TV report from the last 10 or so years, uh, we can see that representation for non-white LGBT people is increasing, but it's definitely not increasing as quickly as it needs to. Um, and there's definitely a lot of issues still with that representation. So it'd be really great to see more uh, bisexual people of colour. It'd also really be great to see a lot more non-binary bisexual people and bisexual men on TV and bisexual trans people and bisexual gender non-conforming people. Because um, I feel like even though we're getting more bisexual characters, a lot of them are still female and femme and thin and often white. And, you know, that's not what the bi community looks like. We are a diverse bunch. Um, the majority of queer people of colour identify as bisexual and the majority of trans people identify as bisexual. 
and it would be really great to see that represented and I think it's you know we're not doing the bi community a service or we're not uh, doing the bi community justice until we portray that properly so I really hope we see more of that in the future.